click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends the topic which we are going to see today is a cupola furnace these are basically used for heating of the metal but through different means cupola is a big object like it's a big housing in which the metal is heated on a large scale so we are going into detail in this in this video you can see in the diagram we can see a building like structure in that different parts are being labeled so what is that structure that structure is a cupola if you'll see one by one there is a spark arrestor at the top then comes with your charging load where your exact charging is done charging means firing like your metal has to be fired with some additional heat which is provided from a charging load in the form of electricity coke etc then in the bottom you can see at one part the slag is being collected and at the other part your exact molten metal is being collected slag is that waste products which are not needed is collected at one side and your molten metal is collected at other side in between you can see some two years what are two years these are just air windows which are used to supply additional air like to give additional supply of air which is blown through the two years so that it enhances the heating process so what is a cupola it's a vertical heating station heat is provided the station is vertical and then what happens charging door is also provided it gives charge like it enhances the heat by using electric charge coke etc and the main thing of cupola is only cast iron can be melted in cupola none of the other metals can be melted if you will see in the diagram it is a cylindrical shaped object which has some inner refractory lines the diameter is pretty much like 0.5 to 4 meter it has some inner refractory lines it is made up of steel so these are some basic features of cupola the main parts of cupola is there is a spark arrested at the top it arrested the spark like it do not go allow the spark to go out then there are two doors like one is slag door one is your actual door from which your material comes out there are two ears which helps your additional air to be blown inside additional air is supplied just to enhance the heating so that is supplied through two ears there is a charging box which gives charge or which supplies with electricity to heat your metal in the form of electric current coal etc these are some basic parts of cupola we'll go into detail into this the whole cupola the basic heating part of cupola is divided into zones one is combustion zone second is reducing and third is melting these are the basic three zone there is a preheating zone also there is a stack zone also but first we will talk about these three zone so what is the basic aim of cupola is to melt the metal so in combustion zone your actual combustion takes place like actual melting takes place as i have told in the starting metal is melted and collected in the bottom of your cupola slag is removed actual metal is collected so what happens in the combustion zone actual charging of the metal is done to in the charging area charge is given in the form of electricity it is coke additional coke is added etc these are the, the parts which is, are to be added heating is done metal is melted in the combustion zone the combustion zone is exactly 15 to 30 centimeter of height so in this whole height actual heating of the metal takes place then some reactions takes place heating temperature is there you can see in the slides there are some temperature up to which the metal is heated reactions takes place different kind of cokes react with other inner material and these reaction take place and gas is eliminated so after combustion will come to the reducing zone it is between the upper level of your combustion zone and the lower level of your coke bed actual elimination of carbon dioxide gas takes place when the coke bed is there oxygen reacts with this so coke and oxygen reacts to form carbon dioxide which is eliminated in the reducing zone then comes the melting zone in melting zone also there are some reactions which take place and the heat is eliminated it is between the preheating zone and your combustion zone in the diagram which is there in the slide itself you can see all the zones like your combustion zone 
preheating zone, reducing zone, as well as your melting zone. So the preheating zone consists the area which is from the upper end of melting zone to the bottom level of charging door. In this heating takes place and then comes the stock. Stock eliminates the excess air or the excess gases to come out and it is above the preheating zone. So what are the exact operations that takes place in a cupola? We have to prepare the cupola exactly for heating, like preheating kind of. Then firing of the actual cupola is done. Then we go to the other steps. We go to we, one by one, we'll see all the processes in detail. So basically cupola heating takes place and it is a vertical object which is large and large amount of heat can be done there is a coke bed also which mixes with the heat and elimination of gas takes place but that is on a side in the preparation part what is done is slag pouch is provided and the other pouch is provided from which your material exactly has to be removed so metal is heated so before heating the cupola has been prepared for heating your all the arrangement is done properly then comes the firing stage in this the charge is packed so the cupola has to be fired at least three hours before your actual melting is to be done so firing is done it is preheated and after that melting takes place then takes place the next step that is soaking of your iron and opening of your blaster iron is soaked exactly for 45 minutes before starting your heating then what happens is the next step takes place the next step is opening of the blaster after heating your hair has to be taken out you have to open the air blast so excess air comes out melting is done metal is being clotted at the bottom then the next step is your actual pouring of metal your metal is heated you have to remove it pouring of the metal is done he heated metal is removed and it can be used in other purposes then closing of your cupola takes place after heating your cupola is closed your air blast is turned off and your arrangement can be used again for melting of other metals like as it only melts cast iron you can only melt cast iron in this it can be used again for further purposes thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and do subscribe our channel ikeda